everyone, it's Jen here. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be drawing and painting this macaw for you and I'll be using my Sennelia watercolours. We're a really, they're a really nice, soft, um, transparent, easy to use, fun watercolour. So yeah, I thought I'd start by drawing this picture. I picked this picture off uh, pixabay.com, which is a royalty free reference site. Um, yeah, so I'll get into this drawing and painting for you. I hope you enjoy this video. So now I'm pretty much finished the base sketch. I'm going to add in my lightest tones first. So I'm going to go in with yellow into the outer ring of the eye or the iris of the eye. And onto the beak, I add, a, I mix up a light sort of brown that I want to use just for the base color of the, the beak, because you can see that there's lighter tones sort of popping through on the beak. So I start with a brownie base first. So now I start to have very light washes of red, yellow, orange, and green just for the base of the bird. And then I'll start to add detail after. Now I go in with some stronger tones and I actually, actually use neutral tint. Um, for this for the top of the beak um, I f figured it was a nice match for the color on the beak and I, you can see I leave the undertones showing through so you can see the highlights and the little specks and the flecks on the beak so yeah it's not all just one flat dark tone start to add in some of the detail around the eyes there's little like pin feathers around the face and I add any of the darker areas and I'm still using that neutral tint just to add in um, yeah those pin feathers and the darker areas around the macaw's face now I go back in to add detail and I go in with the stronger ready orange and I start to add in um, the feather detail. So yeah, I start with the red orange and then I go on and I add some turquoise uh, over the top of that light green, the pale green that I had in earlier. And you'll see I start to build up the feathers using stronger pigment. Um, so yeah, on the green, the pale green, I use a tur turquoise over the top. And on the light orange, I add a red orange over the top and then it, I'll add the darker under his chin at the end. I start, actually start with a dark blue underneath, like an indigo blue underneath the beak, and I'll build that up. I'll actually add some of that neutral tint as well over the top, just to darken that off. But I want the base of blue on the feathers around the base of his neck. And now I'm also adding, there's a little bit of a, a sort of a light brown tone on the, the featherless parts of his face. So I just use some yellow ochre, very, very diluted. I also go back around and add more detail, some stronger oranges and some stronger detail and a few more feathers around his little face. enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and i'll see you all for the next one okie doke bye